Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on Hey, I got this old use gun. The old use gun I got today is the Keltec P11. This is the P11 in 9mm. Uh, the Keltec is a pretty interesting little gun. Uh, the gentleman that designed this gun is a fellow by the name of George Kelgren. Now, Kelgren started gun design back in the late 1970s. And he designed a gun that was very similar to this called the Grendel. The Grendel, the original Grendel gun, was a 10-shot, 380 semi-automatic, poorly ergonomically designed, somewhat functional, not very accurate, I don't know, if you look back on the in the files, you scroll down on my page, you know, you'll find a video on the Grendel. Now, the Grendel that we had on that video was a um, a 380. I think it was 7 shot detachable magazine design. The original Grendel used an M16 stripper clip with 10 380 rounds that you loaded in through the top with a stripper clip guide into an M-block magazine in the grip. And that's how that guy worked. Uh, then they come out with the Grendel with the magazine. I don't think Grendel was a, much of a success for George Kelgren, and, and, but he come along later with kel guns and started doing a little bit better. But the Grendel is what put George Kelgren on the map as far as a designer being. Now, I don't know if George if Kelgren is involved in a lot of the designs of Caltech manufacturers and markets today, but I'm pretty sure he designed this. Um, it is a pretty good little gun. It, it's a full, this one's a full size nine millimeter. It is double action only. So it has about a 12 pound trigger pull all the way through and you're cocking an internal hammer. Okay. Then that guy finally gets back there and fires and the gun cycles and decocks itself. So you have to go all the way back, reset is all the way back out again, and you have to pull it all the way through again, just like a double action revolver. Just like a, say, Centennial, Smith & Wesson Centennial, or something like that that's got an internal hammer, it's completely double action only. Uh, this one's got pretty good three dot, three dot sights on it. Uh, it doesn't have a loaded round indicator on it of any kind that you can see. It does not have an external safety. Of course, being a double action gun, it doesn't really need an external safety. Um, complicated and somewhat aggravating takedown on it. Um, slide stop and slide release, magazine release. It's not ambidextrous. Um, the, the frame is, of course, polymer. It's nicely checkered, but not much support on the back strap, but the front front strap is grooved a little bit. So it's not, it's a pretty easy gun to hang on to. Now I fired this design in the 380, but I haven't fired it in the nine millimeter. So we're gonna give it a whirly gig right here and see how it goes in nine millimeter off the rest. The magazine, in fact, holds 11 rounds, and uh, the magazine that comes with this gun is fairly well made. It's a Macar, uh, made in Italy, and it is, in fact, marked for the gun that it's supposed to go be used with, and it has witness holes at 5 and 10 rounds, but I managed to get 11 in the magazine, so we're going to see if it works here. That guy in there. Run her back there and see if she go in battery. She did. And a 10 inch dirty bird at 30 feet, 10 yards. And let's see how she does. It's a full pull all the way through. And that gun has got some recaltation. It kickifies. <laughs> that gun's got a little kickify to it and shoots kind of low. All right, we're back in battery. Let's see if it'll shoot a tate. Yep, 
It shoots really low. Yeah, I can see it down there on the backer. Uh, this is not what you call a very accurate gun. All right, let's try a stroke sight on the top of the target. See if we can get it to hit somewhere on it. Nope. No, I've hit the paper one time so far. No, twice. I've hit it twice. Yeah. This is not a very accurate gun. I'm hitting something. I can see there's dirt flying up back there on the backstop. A bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh, yeah. Whew. Glad that's over. Let's go down and look at it. Let's count them up. That was 11 rounds at 30 feet. Uh, I actually hit the dirty bird. One, two, three, four, five, six times. So I completely missed it at least well I think this is a new one and I think these two are new you know but uh, it's not it's not just exactly just exactly right as a matter of fact it's uh, rather poor at 30 feet it's it's rather poor accuracy um, it's, it's not very good. Uh, at 30 feet, the accuracy is not very good. Is this gun designed to be 30 feet? Yeah, I'm saying this, this ought to be a, I'm saying this ought to be a 15 yard gun, you know, but as far as achieving pinpoint accuracy with this gun at that range, um, no. No, this this one. Now the next one may shoot better, you know. Uh, reliability. Uh, this gun fires and cycles and reloads itself back every time. Uh, I've shot it 11 times, and it works. Uh, it's certainly not a target gun. So you know, at three feet, if you had to plug them, plug them, plug them, plug them in somebody, you know you'd probably be in pretty good shape. But uh, it doesn't have a very good longer range accuracy potential from what I can see. Uh, these guys use value of this gun somewhere around $150. I think these guns sold new in the $200 and $209 range. Uh, this one's worth about $150 or $60. It does work. I mean, you know. And it is a full-size, full-house 9mm. So, um, that's kind of what you'd expect. Well, all right then. That's about the size of it for this installment of 8. I got this old used gun. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. And uh, I'll leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to on the way out the door. If not, you know. Uh, I'll keep right on making content and fixing to make some more right here in a minute. All right, then. We'll see y'all.